founded back in 2002. Uh, we are truly one of the original SIP manufacturers. Uh, we started off making analog telephone adapters and one and two line IP phones back in 2002. And uh, over the last 13, 14 years, we have truly grown into a full business communications uh, SIP provider. Uh, pretty much all the equipment you're going to need, whether it's uh, to set up and install a SIP communications network, uh, for your business or for your customer's business, whether it be IP phones, uh, IP video surveillance cameras, IP PBXs, gateways, um, you know, lots of different lots of different markets you're going to see within the next couple of weeks that we're actually going to announce a SIP video conferencing product. Uh, so, you know, we really are the one-stop shop for everything you need for a SIP video, uh, SIP voice video data and mobility network. Uh, we're founded here in the United States. I am talking to you from our corporate headquarters in Boston, Massachusetts. We also have a variety of other offices throughout the world uh, to allow us to offer local support in your local language, in your local time zone. Uh, we actually, what you don't see on here is we just last week opened up an office in uh, Malaysia, which is going to give us uh, become our new Asia Pacific technical uh, support headquarters. We're going to have a variety of engineers working out of there simply to increase the technical support uh, that we're able to offer. You know, one big, a really cool aspect of Grandstream um, is if you do call us for technical support, uh, you're always talking to us. You're never talking to a third party company that we hire. There's no um, you know, we don't outsource basically. Anytime you call Grandstream for support or for a technical question, you're always talking to Grandstream engineers. We can move on to the next slide. All right. Um, so, as I kind of just mentioned this on the last slide, you know, we really do provide everything in terms of hardware that you're going to need to set up a uh, IP. Uh, communication solution, everything, as I mentioned, from, enter from enterprise IP phones to small business phones, IP PBXs, gateways, ATAs, and then everything on the surveillance side as well. And as I mentioned, we are soon getting into uh, video conferencing as well. So definitely keep your eye out uh, for that from Grandstream. We can move over to the next slide. All right, so today we're here to talk about our GXV3200 series of video IP phones for Android. Uh, the, the easy way to summarize these are they are three-in-one devices. What we've done here is we've taken a powerful six-line IP phone. We've combined it with the functionality of an Android tablet. These phones have full access to the Google Play Store, any of the hundreds of thousands to millions of apps in the Google Play Store. Um, we obviously like to focus on the business productivity apps. You're a lot of, um, you know, a lot of, uh, what am I looking for? CMS platforms, Salesforce One, uh, there's GoToMeeting apps. You, I've attended webinars on these phones with GoToMeeting, um, you know, Skype, Gmail, whatnot. Um, and by adding in that Android functionality, that open Android access, it gives basically enables this device to also be a multi-platform, multi-conference or multi-platform video conferencing system. Uh, what do I mean by that? There's, you can obviously use any of the uh, video conferencing apps within the Google Play Store, Skype, Google Hangouts, um, you know, soon to be Skype for Business, um, you know, a lot of other ones in there. You can also use the free Grandstream video calling service that comes built into these phones, which enables you to make video calls to any other Grandstream video phones uh, with, without a SIP, um, without a SIP profile, just with an internet connection. Um, so truly very innovative uh, products, really one of a kind on the market. Um, you, can be, you can move on to the next slide from here. Um, you know, really the easy way to think about it is it, it's, we're taking three different devices and here's the visual. We're thinking three different devices that you're going to use throughout the day or that your customers are going to use throughout the day. And we are combining them into these two phones. Again, the full functionality of an Android tablet, the multi-platform video conferencing abilities, and at its heart, this is a powerful six-line IP phone that can make voice calls, video calls, um, has all the functionality um, that you're going to look for in a high-end IP phone. Uh, we'll talk a little bit more about some of the great features that they have as we go through. And you can move on for the next slide. 
Okay, so as I mentioned, these phones are Android. Uh, you, you're going to run into other devices on the market that are also claimed to be Android IP phones. Um, the one advantage that we have in the way that we're different from all the other Android IP phones is that we give you full access to the Google Play Store. Other IP phones from other manufacturers, they basically take Android and they use it for the look and feel of the operating system. They lock down the Android access. You can't get access to any Android apps. You can't create your own Android apps. Um, you know, you can't, you can't take advantage of any of the Android functionality, basically. And what we've done and is taken, took a little bit of innovation, took a couple of years on our part to really build out um, what, what essentially is a VoIP engine from a regular IP phone wrapped around Android. And that's where our true innovation comes into play here. Android obviously is created to be a mobile platform. And so what we had to do, and the reason why we're really one of the only companies that offer these kind of phones, is we actually had to take Android and wrap it around a VoIP interface. Um, for example, take the you know functionality that would normally call out to uh, through a mobile phone, or you know send out a signal through a mobile connection to reroute that to basically tell Android to go through SIP and through VoIP instead. Um, I'll get into a little bit more of that later on. It's, it's awesome in terms of being able to create your own apps for these phones. But in terms of the Android functionality, um, you know, full access to the Google Play Store, one thing that I should probably say here, and one of the, uh, quite frankly, one of the very popular questions we get is, can you lock down Android? Maybe a business doesn't want their um, customers or their, excuse me, their employees doesn't want to give them the ability to go through and download whatever apps they want or watch Netflix or whatnot, you can absolutely lock these phones down. You can um, you know, basically block access to the Google Play Store. You can have these phones preloaded with certain applications that you may want to use, something like Salesforce One or Skype, GoToMeeting, Outlook, Gmail, um, you know, a lot of different options in terms of that. So very customizable in terms of the Android. We give you the full access to the Google Play Store, the full Android access. You can lock that down if you want. You can also have it preloaded with various Android apps. We can move on to the next slide. So I talked before about the multi-platform video conferencing. This is a result of Android. Um, you know, we I mentioned we offer our IP video talk uh, calling platform, uh, which is able to make free video calls to any other grand stream video phones right out of the box, just by plugging into the plugging it into the uh, excuse me into the internet. Apologize, I keep stumbling over my words. A little tired, um, but yeah. So our IP video talk calling platform comes built in. You can make free video calls without a SIP connection to other grand stream video phones. And you can also take advantage of the many great video calling, video conferencing apps in the Google Play Store. Uh, Skype, I you know keep in touch with a lot of our clients worldwide through Skype, and it's great to be able to have it right on my desk phone. Same thing with Google Hangouts. Uh, Skype for Business, we'll talk a little bit about later. Um, GoToMeeting, you could attend this webinar. You could attend uh, GoToMeeting uh, meetings through the app on the Android. Uh, platform. So just the ability to make video, keep in touch with clients and customers uh, through video calls in multiple different ways. We can move on to the next slide. All right, so one of the other great things, uh, we'll go through some of the great features these phones have. Uh, HDMI output. Um, so it looks like somehow the uh, the picture of the phone kind of got uh, disappeared there. But so anyway, um, these phones have mini HDMI outputs, which allows them to be great options, kind of feeding on the video conferencing that we were just talking about. Um, great options for conference rooms. It, it quite frankly is a very affordable um, and pretty powerful video conferencing solution for a conference room. For example, we have. Um, in one of our offices, or excuse me, one of our conference rooms here in our office, we have a 3275 uh, with an HDMI out to a big monitor on the wall. It's great for Skype calls. It's great for Hangout calls if you're using the uh, Grandstream video calling service as well. Basically, to you know, give yourself a video conferencing option that costs a couple hundred bucks um, and has, and also is able to integrate with a full monitor on the wall right there. Um, 
you know, a lot of cool other ways you can play around with this feature. You know, it has nothing to do with anything, but one of the coolest things that we did with this was last year when the World Cup was going, we ran uh, a watch ESPN application on a 3275 and actually connected it to a big TV in our conference room to watch the World Cup in our conference room. Uh, you know, probably not a great business example, but, you know, one of the many things that you can truly do with these phones. So HDMI output, it's mini HDMI output, it's a great thing to have. We can move on to the next slide. All right, so there's a lot of other great features that these phones have, in, way, way above just the Android functionality um, and the video conferencing functionality. Um, kind of go through here, you see some of the icons. I'll go through them starting with Bluetooth and I'll go cal uh, clockwise. Um, so built-in Bluetooth uh, allows not only for syncing with, um, you know, Bluetooth headsets, but you can also sync your mobile device, a cell phone, for example, with these devices and actually be able to transfer, um, you know, data. Data would, could be a contact book, could be a calendar. This is especially great if you're an Android user and you use Google Calendar, you use Google Contacts. It's easily syncable with these phones right through Bluetooth. Uh, another great feature that we offer um, through Bluetooth is actually the ability to transfer calls from these phones to your mobile device and back. So if you get a call um, to your mobile device that you may want to take on your, um, your desk phone, simply transfer it over to that, pick it up on there. Uh, vice versa, if you get a call on your desk phone that you may want to take on your cell phone, you, maybe you got to walk to another corner of the office, um, you can do that right through Bluetooth. Most other manufacturers on their Bluetooth phones are going to give you only support for Bluetooth headsets. We go two steps above and beyond that. Um, if you were with us for our full VoIP uh, webinar, you saw that our 2100 series of enterprise phones have the same great Bluetooth functionality not only with the headsets, but support for contact book syncing, um, cal or calendar syncing, as well as transferring calls back and forth. Uh, call, these phones have built-in six-way audio conference, very easy to set up. I believe we might see a screenshot of it in a little bit. Um, these phones have built-in power over Ethernet, just like pretty much most of our devices do. Uh, they have built-in Wi-Fi, which, you know, we sell tons of these phones to people who are traveling business people. Um, you know, simply pop it into, uh, plug it into uh, the Wi-Fi network. Uh, obviously not plug it in, but connect it to the Wi-Fi network in a hotel or, you know, for a router that you may have that you take around with you and you get the full functionality of phones right there. Um, obviously full high definition audio. These phones have USB ports built onto the back of them. Allows you to, you know, pretty much add apps to the phone, uh, take apps off the phone, screenshots or, you know, anything you might save on this phone that you want to export from it, you can do it with that. Um, you know, another great feature here is these phones have built in uh, screen savers that can access uh, images. You know, maybe you want to have, um, you know, some personal images as the screensaver on these phones. You can do that just by popping some images um, onto these phones through either the USB or the SD card slot, which is the next little icon there. These also have SD card slots, kind of giving you two different ways to add data, take data off the phone, um, expand the memory of these phones, what have you. We showed you the HDMI output. Um, the little finger up there in the top left, what that is, is to signify that these are touchscreen phones full capacitive touchscreens, which is the same type of touchscreen you'll have on any mobile device you may be using. Um, you know, as you can see, pretty much the main difference between these phones are um, you have either a 7-inch touchscreen with no hard keys or you have a 4.3-inch touchscreen with a whole set of hard keys. Um, these phones have gigabit ports built into them as well, just to ensure you have the fastest possible network connection. And we can move on to the next slide. Okay, so uh, just to, this is looks like we're showing our 3240 here. These uh, this is specific to the GXV 3240, or is it? Um, all right, so these are for both here. I do apologize, read the slide wrong at first. So basically, just to kind of you know sum up some of what we've already talked about, they're six line IP phones. You get that free IP video talk account, which enables you to make video calls right out of the box without a SIP connection to any other grand stream phones. Um, which gives you the ability to do three-way video conferencing through that. 
Um, these phones also have electronic hook switch support for Plantronics headsets, allowing you to connect an EHS headset to this, um, and enable, which enables you to answer calls or end calls just by pressing a button on your headset without having to touch the phone, which is great for people that make a lot of calls. Um, one great feature um, that we offer um, for those of you that are looking for BLF functionality or speed dial functionality, um, you see the GXV3240 over there on the right is compatible with our uh, LCD extension module. You can connect up to four of them to get up to 160 contacts um, through that BLF speed dial. Again, the uh, extension module is only for, in this case, only for the GXV3240, which is the 4.3 inch screen phone. Um, both of these phones uh, also have an application, that, an Android app that we developed called MPK. Uh, this is a touchscreen BLF speed dial application. It's obviously probably best for 3275 with the full uh, seven inch touchscreen. Basically it gives you the ability to turn your touchscreen into a speed dial BLF application. Very easy to use, very easy to set up, um, you know, to give you that BLF functionality right there. Um, on your touch screen. You can move on to the next slide. These phones have been tested and certified with all of the manufacturers that you see, or excuse me, all of the major platforms and uh, vendors that you see here. Obviously, I know Broadsoft changed their logo. Um, these were recently actually certified with multiple different um, multiple different plat platforms on Broadsoft, both their Broadworks platform and their UC1 platform. Um, obviously, like all of our other devices, we also work very closely with Elastics, Genesis, Metaswitch, um, and more that you don't see here on the screen, but those are um, obviously the big ones that people ask about quite a bit. So these phones have been tested and certified on these platforms that you see here on the screen. So, um, GXV3275, again, uh, you know, the pretty much the, the difference between the two phones is the touch screen, the size of the touch screen. You have the 3275, which you see here, which has the full seven inch touch screen. It has no hard keys. It has those touch, um, basically touch keys that you see at the bottom, uh, hard direct keys for volume up, volume down to go back to the home screen, um, to bring up menus and to go back to the previous slide. Uh, these phones, honestly, while I'm thinking about it, also work if, if you use the Android, an Android device, an Android tablet, um, and you're used to the pull-down status menu from the top or the notifications flashing across the top, uh, the notification menu that you can bring up, these all have the same thing. It really operates and looks just like an Android tablet or Android device. We can move on to the next slide from here. And then, so again, the... 3270 or 3240, which you see here, uh, this basically the same functionality between the two phones. It's just do you want a seven inch screen with no hard keys or do you want this 4.3 inch touch screen um, with a full set of hard keys? Uh, pretty much up to the user uh, as to what they prefer. We can move on to the next slide. So the 3270 or 3240 with um, the full set of uh, keys. You kind of see here what the keys are. Um, you know, people ask about this quite often. You'll find that the um, key placement and the keys that you have access to are going to be pretty much similar to most of our other current phones. Um, and then the you have the Android keys, which you see there in yellow um, across the on the right side of that top bar, the home, the menu, and the back. Um, as well as the full set of home keys, or excuse me, full set of hard keys, giving you the ability to interact with the phone the way that you're used to while also having full access to the Android features of the phone. And we can move on to the next slide. On the voice codec side, the reason we put this slide up is just to show you that these phones are compatible and support pretty much every major codec out there on the market right now. Um, it says 729 is pending. I can tell you that it is no longer pending. It is loaded on these phones. Uh, these phones do come with G729. Um, you know, the question we usually get there is, for those of you that may be familiar with G729, that is a uh, codec that you have to have, actually have to pay licenses for. We've done that for you. 
it's included. You get full access to 729 like you do with pretty much all of our IP phones, um, and it's already included. You don't have to pay anything. There's no licenses. We've done it for you. It's fully included. Uh, these phones also obviously support, um, as we talked about before, the G722, which is the full HD Kodak. So you get not just HD video conferencing or video calling on these phones, but you also get full high-definition audio. We can move on to the next slide. All right, so here you get a look at the back of the 3275, but again, it's this, you're going to have the same auxiliary ports on the back of the 3240 as well. Um, you know, your dual switch gigabit ports, uh, which port integrated power over Ethernet. You have your USB ports, which are actually, uh, for both devices, going to be on, uh, on that flap that you see over there on the left-hand side that you would open up. Um, that's where you're going to find the USB port. That's where you're going to find the SD card slot. That's where you're going to find the, um, what else did I miss there? That's where you're going to find the mini HDMI port as well. Um, so, you know, pretty much the full peripherals that you're going to want to want. Uh, lots of different functionality. Also, you get your headset port, obviously, if you're going to uh, headset and handset port as well. And we can move on to the next slide. Again, same, pretty much the same for the 3240. Um, the only difference with the 3240 is you're adding that extension module port, which is all the way on the left, um, to the right of the flap, but on the left of that uh, section towards in the middle of the phone. That's where you would connect the uh, LCD extension module. But other than that, you have the same ports, you know, your two PoE ports. You got the uh, mini HDMI out, USB and SD card slot under that flap on the left-hand side as well. And we can move on to the next slide. All right, I talked about this earlier, so I guess we can fly through this pretty quickly. This gives you a screenshot of that MPK application that I talked about. Um, the screenshot that you see here is actually MPK running on a GXV3240, which is the smaller screen. The GXV3275, um, which is obviously probably what the phone that this is best for, um, I believe it can show you 20 between 20 and 24 um, BLF speed dial contacts on the page, and you can obviously um, add up to, I believe actually the, there is no limit. Obviously, once you fill up the screen, you're going to have to scroll uh, to other screens to get to it. But again, this is a great touchscreen BLF speed dial application uh, that a lot of businesses are going to want to use with these very powerful devices. And we can move on to the next slide. You know, again, just a one more thing on, on the MPK is it is uh, something we developed ourselves specifically for these phones. Um, so it was literally developed exactly for these two devices, and it is a great speed dial BLF app for these phones. So one of the best features of these phones, um, you know, depending on how technical you are, is actually how much they can be completely customized. Um, in a lot of different ways. We offer a customization tool which you can download from our website. Um, this tool gives you the ability to basically customize the whole look and feel of the user interface um, and kind of to, you know, and what you would use that for is to, you know, lock the phone down to have certain apps pre-installed on it. Um, to lock down the access to Android, to add or remove applications before it's given to the user, um, to tell the phone to run a specific application when the phone boots up. Um, you know, this gives you the ability to, you know, change the background. You can also change the background and the layout of the icons right on the phone, but you can also do it through this great PC customization tool. Um, one other thing I'll talk about here is we have... Um, also on our website is a Grandstream, it, it basically is a SDK API kit that combines, I believe it's the SDK from our phones as well as the Google Android API. And it's basically a kit that allows you to create your own Android applications for this phone. Um, you know, these Android applications that you're creating can be, you know, can run on these phones and any other Android device as well, a tablet or a mobile phone. Um, you know, another, uh, I was talking earlier about um, some of the innovation and why we're the only company that really makes these kind of phones. Um, and as I mentioned, we basically had to take, uh, I think it was 18 months or so, to go through and be able to uh, 
turn basically turn Android into a VoIP platform, to take Android and wrap uh, a VoIP platform around it. Um, and so that's one of the re that's one of the great things about that SDK API kit is that you're able to develop not only Android applications, but Android applications that are able to access the telephony features of these phones, the VoIP features of these phones, to be able to call out from an app through a SIP call, to be able to initiate a video, um, you know, video chat through a SIP call. Basically to, you know, tell Android, um, to make sure that Android, any of the telephony features, anything you might, any, excuse me, any, features you may want to build into an app to have the phone call out or access any of the telephony features of the phone um, is something you can completely do with that SDK API. Um, you want to create simply just a Google app or an Android app uh, that doesn't access the telephony features. You just need that Google API. Um, and those apps can obviously run on these devices and any other Android device, a tablet, smartphone, what have you. And we can move on to the next slide. All right, I, th I thought we had a slide coming up for this. Uh, so I can kind of fly through this real fast. We talked about this earlier. Again, on the Bluetooth side, just like our GXP 2100 series of enterprise phones, um, we don't just give you support for Bluetooth headsets, which is pretty much the only Bluetooth support you get from other manufacturers. We give you the ability to transfer calls back and forth from these devices to a paired mobile device. It doesn't have to be an Android device. I have an iPhone and I transfer calls back and forth all the time and also to sync contact books and calendars with these phones. We can move on to the next slide. All right, all right, so what this is is um, just to show you pretty much how to how that Bluetooth call transferring would work. Um, when you do pair a mobile device with uh, through Bluetooth with this, you see over on the left hand side, it's actually going to appear as one of the accounts on the phone. Um, and then you know you pretty much see here on on the screen how you would uh, pair the device through Bluetooth, which quite frankly, I mean, I'm sure everyone's pretty much paired a Bluetooth device with another Bluetooth device. It's pretty straightforward, same way. Uh, you do it the same way on this phone that you would do on other phones. Um, we can move on to the next slide. Other phones, other devices, pretty much you're going to pair through Bluetooth with these guys the same way you are on other ones. Um, and actually to finish up, I kind of missed this point on the last slide, that Bluetooth account's going to appear on the home screen of the phone as an account when your uh, mobile device rings, the 3240 or 3275 will also ring. It will tell you it's the BT account, which is Bluetooth, um, and you can actually just pick it up right from the Grandstream phone rather than picking up on the mobile phone. All right, so these phones are um, a very powerful, uh, a very powerful tool to work in tandem with an IP surveillance network. Um, we obviously are one of the few companies in the world that make both VoIP products and IP video surveillance products. So we are huge proponents of, you know, combining those two systems, of registering your IP cameras back to an IP PBX to allow your IP cameras to proactively alert you in a, in a lot of different ways that you get through SIP, but also to be able to contact other SIP devices when alerts are triggered or to allow you to contact these uh, to contact these cameras when you know pretty much whenever. So simply put, you know, you can have a, a Grandstream video surveillance camera, any SIP video surveillance camera on your network set to make video calls to any of these video phones when a security alarm is triggered. You can actually see the live feed of the camera um, right there on the screen, not just a screenshot, but a live feed of the camera. Um, some of our cameras and third-party cameras as well have actually give you the ability to pick up the phone and talk through either the speaker or microphone that may be built into the camera or an external speaker microphone that might be connected to the camera. Um, and meanwhile, as the camera can call you, you can also pick up these video phones and call these cameras at any point in time, any SIP camera, just by dialing the SIP extension. You know, this is great for security offices. This is great for receptionists. This is great for CEOs. Um, you may have, you know, kind of give you another example here, which we actually might see on the next slide. I'm not positive. Um, 
is a little uh, facility access solution. You know, put a, put a camera at the front door to your home or your office or the back door to your office, have it set for motion detection, and then when somebody shows up, it can automatically make a call up to these video phones, and our video phones actually can be configured to tell, for example, a SIP door opener that may be connected to the camera to actually open the door. So pretty cool little uh, facility access solution, door access solution right there um, by using our video phones and combining them with uh, SIP cameras as well. We can move on to the next slide. Yep, and that's what it is. Here's, that's, this is pretty much what I just described to you. Um, you know, a little facility or a little door access solution, put a camera at the front door, have it set for motion detection, and then tell the camera when motion is detected to automatically make a call to any Grandstream video phone, either on the premise or off the premise, on a different network, what have you. Can move on to the next slide. All right, uh, so similarly, I just showed you, um, you know, a door access solution using a Grandstream camera. Uh, our phones are also, we do tons of deployments and actually quite a bit um, down in the Australia and New Zealand region specifically. Um, that pair our IP video phones with uh, third-party door intercom or door camera. The one you see here is 2N. That's the one that comes to my head all the time. There's a lot of other manufacturers, a lot of ones that we, a lot of great manufacturers on the door camera side, a lot that we've tested with. You can check out the partner section of our website where we list some of the other um, door phone vendors that we've tested and have found and um, certified ourselves with. Um, so pretty much this works the same way. You know, uh, the one the one that comes to mind is a, an apartment building that we did in Melbourne, Australia, where they have uh, two end door phones at the front entrance, every single entrance to the building, as well as you know, for example, elevator shafts or back door entrances, um, and you have the Grand Stream video phones in every single apartment with a PBX in the middle, hopefully our UCM series. Um, you know, simply when somebody shows up, they scroll through the door camera, they look for the apartment or the office that they're looking to um, get to, they'll click that, it'll make a video call up to the Grandstream phone, you can see the video before you even pick it up, you can pick it up, talk through the camera to somebody that may be at the front door, and then you can tell the uh, IP door, press a button, configure through some DTMF codes on the Grandstream phone to tell the um, door camera to actually open the door. So another really cool uh, security integration um, of our video phones. We can move on to the next slide. Yeah, so um, actually this is pretty, this is another slide that pretty much is showing you uh, that door access solution using the Grandstream camera that I showed you. Uh, getting pretty deep into some security stuff here. This is pretty much how you, would tell, how you would set that up. Basically what you're doing is you're just telling the camera when it senses motion to make a call to the SIP extension uh, of the video phone or the SIP phone number of the video phone. And we can move on to the next slide. So we have a couple of slides here. Uh, you're going to see Microsoft Link. Obviously, Microsoft Link is in the process of changing to Skype for Business. We have optimized our 3200 series to run the Microsoft Link, soon to be Skype for Business, Android application. We have actually worked very closely with uh, Google over the last two years or so to optimize the Android, um, to optimize the Android Microsoft Link, soon to be Microsoft or Skype for Business application. So these apps are basically optimized and have been designed both by us with a little bit of help from Google, um, and we've done some stuff on the phone on our side to allow Microsoft Link, soon to be Skype for Business, to run natively on these devices. They, again, um, one thing I want to be clear about, they are not Microsoft Link or Skype for Business certified. And quite frankly, the main reason for that is because Google does not have a platform currently in which they certify Android application, or, or excuse me, um, Microsoft does not have a platform in which they uh, would certify an Android app, and you probably understand why. Um, however, you know, we've worked very closely. I think I said Google before I met Microsoft again. I, I apologize um, for talking over my words here. A little towards the end of the day, so a little bit tired. But um, 
so anyway, these devices can certify, and you can move on to the next slide because I think we have some more information on these, uh, on Microsoft Link running on these devices, can run as native and dedicated Microsoft Link devices. Um, you know, the app, as you see there on the left-hand side of the screen, if you were to download Link, um, our phone is able to recognize that. It makes your Link account one of the main accounts on the phone. You can use this as a dedicated Link phone and not have any SIP accounts or anything else running to it. Um, it essentially operates if you use um, the Link Android app on a mobile phone or tablet. It works the exact same way as that. As you can see from the screenshots you see here and what you'll see on the next screen, um, these phones the version of Link that it runs uh, looks exactly the same, it's the same look and feel, the same functionality um, as Link running on a, um, you know, on a PC or on a tablet. You can make Link video calls, you can make Link voice calls, you can have Link chats, you can schedule, you can access a Link calendar, um, you know, whole nine yards. You can move on to the next slide. And so what you saw on that last slide with the link, the phone being able to recognize, and you see here again, the phone being able to recognize link and make it a main account on the phone, uh, that's something we've done to optimize these devices to run Microsoft Link. Um, you know, if you get a link uh, call, that call will appear as if it's, you know, a, a normal call coming into the phone. If you get a link chat or a link notification, it will scroll across the top of the screen. Um, you know, you can have, you can start a, a link or a Skype for Business uh, chat and then turn it into a voice call or a video call. Really all the functionality that you're going to get um, from a link PC is going to, you're going to get on these uh, link running on these Grandstream IP phones. We can move on to the next slide. I can believe we're beginning to wrap up here. Um, and this pretty much just uh, tells you what I just what I just mentioned, where these devices, they can not only, you know, they can communicate with Microsoft Link running on any device, whether it be another Grandstream phone, whether it be, um, you know, Link running on a tablet, on a PC, whatnot. Um, and as I mentioned earlier, if you get a Link call, if you get a Link video call, chat, invitation, what have you, it's always going to appear on your screen, even if the Link app is not open. You can move on to the next slide. All right, so that, that wraps up the Microsoft Link. It's soon to be Skype for Business section. Um, kind of wrapping up here with some of the, some final great features this phone, these, uh, these great video Android IP video phones have. Um, they have a full web browser built into them. This is not a mobile browser. This is a full web browser built right into both of these phones. You saw it on a slide earlier. You know, it really just adds another screen to your desk, another screen that you can use to be productive, to, you know, check email, to check the internet, whatnot. We can move on to the next slide. And here's that six-way audio conference screen, and it really is that easy to set up. You would just hit that plus button. Um, Next, uh, you know, around the table, go through your contacts, add a contact right from your contact book or type in a number, and then the phone will go out, call that person to add it to the conference as you can go through and add additional conference attendees. We can move on to the next slide. Has a full calendar built into it, and as I mentioned earlier, um, it because it's Android, it can be fully synced with any Google Calendar. You can add your Google uh, account onto these phones and it will automatically pick up your Google Contacts, your Google Calendar right away. Um, so yeah, just you know, great functionality with the calendars and the contacts books that a lot of customers, a lot of users are already using. And we can move on to the next slide. In terms of auto provisioning, a uh, variety of different ways that, um, you know, we offer, not just with these phones, but these kind of apply to, uh, you know, most of our IP phones. In terms of provisioning them, you have the auto provisioning right from the phone where you can actually right on these devices, go through and select account information, um, you know, register it to a PBX that you may already have set up uh, or an account you may already have set up just by going through the account section right on the phone. Um, these phones are also, also support the zero configuration feature if you're using them with our UCM series of IP PBXs. Um, this is a, a zero config is a feature that we build into our IP PBXs. It allows them to go out and auto discover any Grandstream phones, ATAs, gateways, basically any Grandstream device on the same network as the UCM PBX and then can allow you to zero config it, uh, can zero configure those devices right from there. 
um, by allowing the system to go through and, and provide its own, you know, account settings and extension numbers for each one. Um, you can provide a general set of rules to apply to the whole system, or you can obviously go there and do it manually one by one. Uh, these phones, as well as all of our IP phones, also support uh, mass provisioning through TRO-69 or encrypted XML files. Uh, you see two of the uh, more prominent um, TRO-69 vendors that we've tested uh, with in the last couple of years, AV Systems and Friendly Technologies. And then we also have our Grandstream Automatic Provisioning Service, um, which is a mass provisioning service that we offer. It's through our distributor, so it would be through Alloy. Um, so we can, you know, I think actually we're going to follow up, I believe next week with a webinar on provisioning in which we might actually talk a little bit more about gaps. Um, we can move on to the next slide, which, yeah, okay, so I kind of just talked on the integration with the ECM, um, talked about the zero configuration um, that you have with these Android IP video phones or any other Grandstream device. Um, when you're registering them to our UCM 6100 series. Um, also, a, a couple other great features that uh, our UCM is able to extend and offer any Grandstream phone. Uh, One-touch call recording, the ability to press a button right on the Grandstream phone to start or stop provision or start and stop recording. I call it on-demand call recording. Um, our, our PBXs directly support LDAP phone books. Um, which, you know, for those, you know, very easy to set up just through an Excel file, um, create, very easily create an LDAP phone book, put it on your, your UCM PBX, and it is automatically extended to all the, all the phones on that network. Um, you know, our UCM series also has, uh, we talked about call recording, it's also got the built-in CDR, so you can track uh, calling habits. You know, a lot of great features of the UCM series of PBXs that relate to these, probably go on to for it for, quite a bit, but those are some of the highlights of what you're going to get by using these Grandstream phones or any Grandstream phone with our UCM series of IP PBXs. We can move on to the next slide. And for, you know, for more information and, uh, on these products, a uh, couple of different locations I'll point you to. The main one's obviously going to be the product pages for these websites on Grandstream.com. You're going to find the full product specifications, the product data sheet available in a variety of languages, um, a very detailed user manual, a quick installation guide, uh, various interoperability guides showing you how to pair these phones with various um, third-party door cameras or RIP cameras, uh, provisioning guides, other how-to guides, uh, videos for each one as well. So pretty much, you know, if you're looking for more resources, if you're looking for some quick hitters, some quick information on this, go to those pro go to the product page, check out some of those materials. Um, in particular, check out the videos on those two slides because they uh, do a pretty good job of covering pretty much everything we did in this webinar in a, you know, obviously a much less detailed, quicker fashion, but for, uh, you know, quick three-minute explanation of what these videos are or what these phones are, check out the product pages and the videos. And we can move on to the next slide, which I have a feeling is the end. So again, do want to thank everybody for being with us today. You know that there's a lot that you can be doing. Your time is very valuable. So appreciate you spending time with us um, here today. And I believe we'll do a question and answer now. Um, for any questions that we weren't able to get to or any questions you may have, you can feel free to submit them either through the questions panel or raise your hand and, I, and uh, Scott will be able to call on you. Thank you very much, Bill. Appreciate your time. Okay, guys, like Bill has just said, if you do have any questions, you can just raise your hand in the little uh, go to webinar panel there, and I will unmute you and you can fire away. Okay, Phil, looks like you've done too good a job because no one seems to be. Do you have any questions? If you are um, a little bit shy and don't want to ask any questions over audio, you can just quickly type them in and I'll read them out for you. Okay, hang on, quick question from Andrew. Hi guys. There, Andrew? Yeah, I am. Thank you for a great uh, presentation, by the way, Bill. 
Um, will we be able to have access to this? I know I asked the question on type, but will it be downloadable for this uh, PowerPoint presentation for reference? Certainly will be. Um, in about, give me about an hour or so, and we'll have the, an actual recording of the webinar up on the website and also the presentation files as well. So they can all yeah. be downloaded from the, web, the webinar section on the Allo website. Oh, good. Yeah, it's just that Richard G's actually, we both came in on the, on my link because we both got into a private room to be able to watch it all. So Richard, who probably isn't logged in there, is actually online with me. Okay, very good. All right, thanks for that because right. we definitely can download it. No problem at all. Thanks, Andrew. Thanks. Okay, we have another question that's come through via the chat thing. So a question from Frank in regards to the warranty period. Um, so the standard warranty period on their, all these products are a single year or 12 months, um, but you also can pay extra for extended warranty um, as well. All right, another question in regards to VPN clients. Do it does. VPN clients? It does. I actually, as I'm sitting here, to make sure that I wasn't wrong about this. I have a 3275, it's a phone I use at my desk and I click through it. Um, and there is a, a full section within the, um, where is it? Yes, the short answer is yes. It's got a full uh, VPN client built into it. Um, you would get to it from the wireless and network section in the settings and you can add a VPN profile very easily right from there. Okay, thank you, Phil. Okay, support for the life period of the pro of the products. I think Frank's trying to say there. So yeah, so definitely um, Alloy will continue to support the product um, for the lifespan of the product, and and so will Grandstream. Absolutely. Anything? To, yep. Anything to add there, Phil? No, absolutely. Well, we support you know we support our products for the entire lifetime of the product. Perfect. Okay, question from Dean. Can you use a USB key to actually record a conversation? So can you do a direct recording onto a USB stick, Phil? Um, you know what? That's a good question. Um, I have to be honest with you. I'm not 100% sure. If I had to guess, probably not. Um, but I'll have to follow up with you on that. I actually don't know, to be honest with you. Yeah. Dean, I'll... I'll follow up with um, the tech guys at Grandstream and I'll come back to you and let you know what the answer is to that. Okay guys, any other questions before we wrap up? Alright, well thank you very much. Okay, sorry, another one came through from Frank. NFR version available. Yes, if you contact Alloy we do have NFR pricing available for these products. Okay, Phil, thank you very much for your time. It's now getting late there, so we do appreciate you um, giving us a time to go through the presentation. No problem. Always enjoy it. You know, I'm sure we'll do it again soon. I think we're doing it next week. So uh, thank everyone for you know being with us here today. Yeah, if you are interested, everybody, there is another um, webinar on next Thursday, which goes into detail in regards to the auto provisioning functionality of, of all the Grandstream products, so gateways, ACAs, IP phones, video phones, so an in-depth overview of all the provisioning functionality of the products. So that's next Thursday at 11 a.m., and you can register from the Alloy website. Okay, guys, thank you very much. So, sorry, Alex, you just asked about NFR again. Yes, we do have NFR uh, pricing available, so do contact your Alloy account manager and they can give you pricing on NFR products. Okay, guys, thank you very much, and hopefully we'll see you all again next week for another webinar. Thanks, Bill. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Have a good one.